Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk a little bit about return to office. As things change, there are more and more offices now have officially started a return to office uh, process. I was curious about how you all feel about it and I posted a questionnaire on my Instagram basically just asking folks to vote. Um, do you feel you're ready for return to office? And the result shows 60% people answered no versus yes. I'm not actually surprised by the result because I feel like I'm borderline, uh, probably more towards the no uh, group as well. So I wanted to just uh, dedicate this video to share with you um, how do I feel about it and some tips might be helpful uh, if you are also in the middle of going through this transition. So before I start, just a quick reminder, um, I share everything about UX from personal career growth to portfolio reviews, uh, design quiz on my YouTube channel. If you are interested on this type of content, please feel free to hit the subscribe so you won't miss any of my future content. So it comes to return to office, um, you know, it's been about two years since um, we, I think, started working from home when the pandemic started. And uh, it took quite a while, I think, for people, including me, to adjust and learn how to work from remote. But now it feels like, oh, it's time to going back to the work in person and in the office settings. And I don't know how you feel about it, but I have personally have like kind of mixed feeling about it. So let me share, first of all, I think a couple of things I feel positive or what I like is um, one, I really miss the people connections. Um, so and especially like you be able to have like a coffee chat um, and have those like not necessarily product specific conversations to build uh, the relationships, to understand uh, where each other's are. I think it's actually critical for me at least uh, to have those like in-person connections and interactions to be able to feel like, oh, I'm part of a team. Also build a trust with uh, my work partners. The other side that I miss about uh, the actually working in the office is the collaborations and especially they would brainstorm in front of a real whiteboard. Um, you know, there are many like tools that have been invented during this past two years from like online collaboration tools like Figma, FigJam and whiteboard tools like Miro and more. I think it's definitely helpful for like folks who are trying to brainstorm remotely but the actual energy that um, you can feel be able to like brainstorm something together in front of a real physical whiteboard is something that's so unique to me and I feel like I don't know I just feel like I tends to be more creative and be able to think out loud better in front of a whiteboard versus a computer screen so um, definitely miss that part um, the other side of course, the free food, coffee, and the perks, all the perks comes with uh, a nice office. It's also something that I missed. So I actually joined Google about two years ago, just when the pandemic started. So uh, in my case, I have never met my team in person and I did a remote onboarding and since then have been just working from home forever. So um, definitely, I think, hoping and excited to meet my coworkers, my team, and be able to catch up in a real physical office settings. Uh, so that's overall how I think the positive side uh, I felt about return to office. Okay, now let me share some about side that I feel hesitant about it. Um, one is definitely the commute, the traffic. You know, uh, I used to, uh, in my past job, I used to, it used to take me at least one hour each way. So two hour on commute on the highway. So it's a lot of time and energy, uh, you know, uh, spending that amount of time every day when you have to commute uh, to your job. So that's the part I don't miss, honestly. Uh, and can't quite imagine how the traffic is going to be like when everybody returned to work and stuck on, in the traffic for hours again. And the other side, I think, is the unknown about expectations. You know, um, as a mom of a little kid, I really appreciate flexible schedules because, you know, it used to work really well, I think, for parents who need to 
drop off or pick up kids from school or daycares on a daily basis when you work remotely from home. It's just easier、uh, to plan out your schedule. Now, thinking about the many unknowns of return to office,、uh, I feel kind of nervous about how am I going to adapt to the new schedule? How to like? How do I?、Um, Best arrange my day, my week, so I can be、uh, on one hand giving my best and my professional side of work environment, but on the other hand, still be able to、uh, support my family、uh, to the best that I can. So that's the part I feel quite uncertain. And、um, what's the、uh, what is the expectation gonna be? How the traffic and schedule gonna work out? In a family settings, another thing I feel hesitant about is how am I gonna be able to focus、uh, in these hours or deep thinkings.、Um, you know, I went to the office the other day just to check it out, how the desk or layout feels like, and I just started realizing it's actually pretty hard in an open office layout if you're trying to get into a flow state to really focus. And to work on something requires deep thinking. In the past two years, I've been able to like just dedicate a certain amount of time on my calendar,、um, so I can actually dedicate enough time to work on the challenge or projects that requires deep thinking.、Uh, but in the actual office setting, I think it can be very hard because there are people around. People might come by and say hi to you and start chatting. So. Um, and the open office layout is just, I think, gonna be extra challenge if you're trying to get into the flow state. So that's one thing. I don't have a perfect answer or solution yet. I'm still trying to see. Like maybe、um, a workaround is to just book some individual conference room or space, so I can still hopefully keep a good balance of.、Uh, The focus time and the social time, yeah. And the last thing I just started discover is challenge to posting like a workshop. It's actually pretty hard when it comes to like a hybrid mode.、Um, so you know, I've run a couple of times like remote workshops in the past few years.、Um, however, I just realizing like now, okay, with some people in the office versus some are not yet. How do we actually host? A effective workshop is becoming even more challenging because you know we just learned and got used to all those challenge how to run a workshop virtually and get people engaged.、Um, but now the new challenge is how do you handle a mixed group? You know you might be sitting with、uh, four or five or other people in the meeting room, while there are maybe another six people、uh, in a different location、um, joining remote. Uh, either from home or from their office, and how do you keep like attendees spread out from different locations, some in person, some remote, be able to join a workshop effectively and still be able to brainstorm and share their ideas?、Um, this is like a, one of the most recent challenge that I just came into. So. I don't have an answer yet. Just trying out different ways. So would love to hear how you feel about it. And、um, if you have any ideas, suggestions, please feel free to share with me. I would love to hear about it. So、um, now that I have shared some of my likes and don't likes about the return to office idea,、um, I also want to share a few tips that I think might be helpful during this transition. Um, one is understand that this will be a process. It will take time for everyone to adjust it. I hope you don't feel super stressed,、uh, or you have to push yourself into a state that you don't feel quite comfortable with.、Um, so I think understand and acknowledge that this is a process, and it will take some time.、Um, is probably a good first step. Well, the second thing I think might be helpful is to talk to your Manager and have an open conversation. What might be some concerns you have on your end, and also ask for support whenever you need.、Um, I think keep the communication open is a really critical part to have a healthy relationship with your manager、um, because they are also adjusting to this、uh, new working mode of return to office or hybrid mode. So have an open communication. Share your concerns. Also, understand what's on your manager's mind,、um, and how they feel about this process, and what might be some support they can give you. So that I think that can help you 
uh, hopefully have a smooth transition uh, for this return to office process. Um, the last thing I want to share, I think, is to try to keep an open mind. Um, this might sound like super straightforward, but I think, um, you know, after two years, a lot of things have changed. Some companies have announced like permanent remote working options. Uh, versus some other companies might be trying hybrid mode or more leaning towards going back to the physical in-person work settings. A lot of the times we are still like trying to figure out and things might never really go back to the exact old norm prior to the pandemic. Um, so understand that companies, leaders, your friends, your peers are probably all learning and trying to adapt at the same time about this new norm, keep an open mind, give support and empathy when you can. Um, understand, you know, people might have struggles or challenges in their different situations. That might be helpful for all of us to learn and adapt to these new settings. Uh, no matter it is called RTO, return to office, or it might be actually uh, evolved into a new hybrid mode. So that is all I have for today. This is a topic I've been talking a lot with my coworkers and with my friends because more and more uh, companies started the official rolling of return to office. So just uh, wanted to share a couple of things, what I feel about and some tips might be helpful uh, for us to like adjust to the new norm. Um, and hope this is something interesting for you. Um, and if you have any thoughts, concerns, or any suggestions, please feel free to share with me in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I will end my video here today and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.